the ship. Mm. Plastic with you? Only temporary. Mm. Usual? Hey, Hank. How you doing, man? Hey, you sick. Hey, listen, I got a shit hot tip for you. Number five in the third. Lickety split. And Philly's one hell of a chaser. You want to flood it? Last shit hot tip you gave me sent me back a week's wages paid. Come on, this is different. It's a hundred percent guaranteed. You can't go wrong. Yeah, right. Straight. Hey, you won't regret this. What is your problem? Don't you ever do as you're told? Look, you don't have to follow me around like a poodle. I'm sorry for my behavior back at the police station. I didn't mean to be unpleasant. Oh, wow. You've even got a brown nose and apology program. Guys at Cyberlife thought everything, huh? Here you go. Ah. Uh. Leave that thing here. Oh, not a chance. Follows me everywhere. See? This Pedro, he was proposing illegal gambling. Am I right? Yeah. And you made a bet? Yeah. Your meal contains 1.4 times the recommended daily intake of calories, and twice the cholesterol level. You shouldn't eat that. Everybody's gotta die of something. Is there anything you'd like to know about me? Hell no. Well, yeah. Um, why do they make you look so goofy and give you that weird voice? Cyberlife androids are designed to work harmoniously with humans. Both my appearance and voice were specifically designed to facilitate my integration. Well, they fucked up. Can I ask you a personal question, Lieutenant? Why do you hate androids so much? I have my reasons. Maybe I should tell you what we know about deviants. You read my mind. Proceed. We believe that a mutation occurs in the software of some androids, which can lead to them emulating a human emotion. In English, please. They don't really feel emotions. They just get overwhelmed by irrational instructions, which can lead to unpredictable behavior. Emotions always screw everything up. The androids aren't as different from us as we thought. <laughs> you ever dealt with deviants before? A few months back, a deviant was threatening to jump off the roof with a little girl. I managed to save her. So I guess you've done all your homework, right? Know everything there is to know about me? I know you graduated top of your class. 
You made a name for yourself in several cases and became the youngest lieutenant in Detroit. I also know you've received several disciplinary warnings in recent years, and you spend a lot of time in bars. So what's your conclusion? I think working with an officer with personal issues is an added challenge. But adapting to human unpredictability is one of my features. I just got a report of a suspected deviant. It's a few blocks away. We should go have a look. I'll let you finish your meal. I'll be in the car if you need me. Connor, you ran out of batteries or what? I'm sorry, I was making a report to CyberLife. Uh. Well, do you plan on staying in the elevator? No, I'm coming. Now, what do we know about this guy? Not much. Just that a neighbor reported that he heard strange noises coming from this floor. Nobody's supposed to be living here, but the neighbor said he saw a man and hiding an LED under his cap. Oh, Christ, if we have to investigate every time somebody hears a strange noise, we're gonna need more cops. Hmm. Anybody home? Open up, Detroit police! Stay behind me. Got it. This place stinks. Well, looks like we came for nothing. Our man's gone. RT. Probably initials. He put his initials in his jacket? That's something your mom does when you're in first grade. The driver's license is fake. Cool. At least we didn't come for nothing. Any idea what it means? RA9. Written 2,471 times. Why is it obsessed with this sign? Looks like mazes or something.
Its LED is in the sink. Not surprised it was an android. No human could live with all these fucking pigeons. Ah, Jesus, I hate these things! My fault. I should have been faster. You'd have caught it if it weren't for me. That's all right. We know what it looks like. We'll find it. Hey, Connor. Nothing. 